Hello YouTube, Jmon2005 here with a review of these three switches, all of which come from the Capsule uh, Switch Set 3. So what we have is uh, the Smoke Switch number 14, the Hopping Switch number 9, and this Radar Switch number 4. Now, uh, the reason I got these two is because it's the only way to get them with the shiny Holofoil Deluxe sticker, as you can kind of see. Let's see if I can get it to reflect the light. You can see it right there. So, um, let's first of all take a look. Here's the pamphlet with uh, Forza's elect states on it. And you can see Capsule Switch Set 3 is written on there. So, in the set, um, alright, we'll start this side and go forwards numerically. Uh, we see switches 4 and 5, Radar and Magic Hand. Uh, when you turn them on, they have an LED in them, which is why I got 4. Um, 5 is also in set 4 with an LED, so I'll probably get it from that set, why it's not here. Uh, let me see, camera, parachute, I forgot for a minute, hopping, elec, or the Eric switch if you want to say Feeny, scissors, beat, uh, and only will say beat on, it won't say anything when you turn the switch off, uh, chain arrays, and smoke. And the back just shows you how you can put it in the driver and do stuff with it. So, um... All of the switches, they come, we gotta put this numbered sticker on there, but uh, they all come with one sticker, which is just like this, it's a flat sticker with the design on it. The only ones that don't um, have a flat sticker, um, though they come with more than just a flat sticker, is these two, the next set, uh, set four will have spike number 15, and those have the deluxe hollow foil sticker. Now, hopping is also in set two. And I was unable to get one from set two, so Oki managed to get me one from set three. So let's take a look at the switches. We'll start with radar. You can see the flat uh, sticker right there with the four and the radar logo. Um, let me see the square and then the little wheel on top. Um, it's got the same design. You can see on the back, this is where I pulled out a little tab. I believe I pulled it from the back uh, to turn it on. Uh, yeah, there's a little tab in there to activate the batteries for the light. Uh, same as always. Then we see uh, the hopping, oops, the hopping switch number nine right here with the uh, little pogo stick looking thing on it uh, and the spiral design. Uh, it's a triangle, I think I said that already. Uh, same thing, you can see it's got one peg down there and I just push it down to activate and the little peg is out. So pretty simple. Uh, most switches activate actually in the same way, but they do look cool. I like the look. Um, and that one's you know black, got pink. This one's like a purplish color, and you can see the X design for smoke that's on the other leg. And you can see, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Something that shoots smoke, I guess. Uh, and then we see the smoke design on here, and you can clearly see the hollow foil right there with the smoke design. It's number 14. Um, and this one has the little peg right there and we can push it down to activate and there's the second peg popping out and then you're gonna have to to pull it back up uh, you can see how this piece sticks out pull it from the back and it pops back up <clears throat> so that's our switch design so let's bring in the driver we'll pull these aside um, turn the, the driver on Alright, and I've got the driver preloaded with switches 1 to 4. Uh, okay, let's start off. <laughs> uh, and yes, we're required to do that, so suck it if you don't like it. Alright. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to swap this radar with the other one. Uh, so we can see this is the deluxe radar that came with the belt and it's got that hollow foil on the sticker right there. So uh, we'll go ahead and activate it. And you can see the LED for when uh, Kengo's talking to him from the rabbit hutch. And then we'll, we'll limit break just for the heck of it. So 
So it does the same things as a regular radar. I don't know what a radar limit break would do, but whatever. So let's just go numerically. So pop out a uh, drill and put in hopping. Hopping. Push it down. Hopping. Um, and then the leg blinks. It's on that leg. Limit break. Alright. And then turn this one off. We'll pop out Rauncher to put in smoke. And now this leg glows, and we'll do a smoke limit break for whatever good that's worth. So there we go, and we'll deactivate smoke. <coughs> so uh, that's that's what our three switches do in the driver. All right, so we'll we'll pull that out the way. Get the switches out. So yeah, uh, they're pretty cool switches, you know. And like I said, this, the capsule uh, switches are the only way to get um, hopping and um, smoke with the deluxe Holofoil sticker. If you care about that kind of thing, which I do. And let's just uh, here we go. It's not in the driver, and the light will activate. And uh, it only turns on when you get to a certain point. See, and then as soon as I get beyond that point, once it clicks all the way, and then it turns off. So let's get that established. And um, which yeah, they're really cool. I mean, it's you know, it's kind of the gimmicks getting out of hand at some point. But uh, I do really like the designs of them. And if you want to get all the switches, I mean, you gotta get these two. And then this one actually does stuff. It's got a light and everything. Too bad it doesn't have the deluxe sticker. But uh, you know. Whatever. It's, it is what it is. So, uh, you know, if you can find them at a reasonable price, then I'd say get them. Otherwise, I mean, don't spend exorbitant amounts of money for a Switch. It's just not worth it. Especially when they just sit there and don't do anything. So, uh, until next time, you can check out the podcast website, Ramboards. RedFangerRambles.com, bringing you the latest token news and the craziest way possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.